Hi everyone, Victoria Cochran here, victoriacochran.com and Reaching Out Spiritual News on Facebook. Uh, spiritual healer, psychic channel, medium, um, here today to lead another session. Um, spiritual Wisdom Hour and today I'm going to be talking about the heart chakra. I've talked a lot about the three bottom chakras, the base chakra, the solar plexus, the sacral, wrong order but you know what I mean. So today I thought that I would focus on the heart chakra and the attributes of the heart chakra that can lead to balance or imbalance in us. Um, a lot of us can uh, be really hurt in love and have a lot to release. So then I'm going to be channeling Archangel Raphael and asking him for a heart healing meditation, uh, followed by a reading for the collective. Um, and I'll do three spreads, one for people in a relationship, one for people in an unhappy relationship, and then one for people not in a relationship but looking for love. I do apologize that I cannot do individual readings here because too many people come on and it's just exhausting and some people miss out so if you would like a reading or a healing with me or just to connect uh, after the session please feel free to uh, inbox spiritual events directory uh, and Sarah will pass the messages on to me and I've had the pleasure hi Tracy I've had the pleasure of connecting with a few people over the last couple of weeks who've just kind of stumbled across my videos and said they've never heard of me but found what I've talked about to be uh, resonating with them which is really wonderful so um, you take what you can from it all I don't I really get time to tune into the other um, uh, people who are doing videos on here but I'm sure that uh, their wisdom is really valuable as well so I'm hoping that uh, what I bring to the table is useful. Hi Wendy, lovely to see you. So um, I have been on this journey only 10 or 11 years. Um, I've told this story quite a few times now but it's not my grandfather in smoke so it's been a kind of a really rapid rise for me into the spiritual realm and uh, knowing what I know now and uh, being able to see what I see in a fetus state is amazing and I had no idea before that so that's why I really love to to um, share my knowledge and wisdom with other people to empower you to know that it's possible to step into your spiritual and psychic gifts if you have a bit of an inkling that it could be there well I tell you it's there it was certainly uh, hidden for a long time for me but um, it's uh, unleashed now and um, I'm loving it so uh, I'm sitting in front of the beautiful uh, crown chakra uh, uh, hanging that I got from the mind from the body and soul festival in Launceston from the wishing well uh, people at the wishing well down in Hobart so I thought that I would put that behind me uh, today I think it looks really lovely so um, today I'm just going to spend about half an hour talking about the heart chakra and uh, what it actually uh, how it affects us because the chakras really do affect our consciousness and what's held in there and what, um, whether they're clogged or not and how much trauma we're holding and all the rest of it. And uh, awesome, Tracy. And I take, um, I, I have Archangel, I'm lucky enough to have Archangel Michael with me all the time. So I'm always channeling him, but um, I also use the work of uh, Ronna Herman. She's now called Ronna Vizane. Um, and she has a beautiful website, Ronna Star, and she puts out monthly messages. So she's known as the sacred scribe for Archangel Michael. And she's in her 80s now. She's incredible. She lives in America. And uh, so I'm using this book a lot today because 
Archangel Michael has uh, given uh, all the information about the different chakras and how they're changing too. So although I'll be um, although I'll be channeling Archangel Raphael today, who has the green energy, he's actually not associated with the heart chakra. That's Archangel Shamuel, but. Um, it, it's all kind of changing. So Archangel Michael keeps Rona updated with all of that. Um, his channelings are quite amazing and uh, uh, sometimes I have to read them a few times to understand it all. But um, if you're uh, really starting to awaken, this book, Scripting Your Destiny, is a really good one for helping to unblock um, things that are standing in the way of your ascension and ascension means uh, working towards a higher consciousness of oneness and uh, unconditional love. And I do apologise, I've still got this cold. I had it last week. I haven't been able to shake it. Um, I am a member of the Lions Club of Rocky Cape, actually president of that. Um, soon to be uh, stepping down as that and moving on to a big, another role in the district. And we went to uh, a Lions convention on the weekend and didn't really help to shake my cold very much, but we had a good time. So um, it was in Geelong, not Melbourne. Okay, so here is the heart chakra and I've taken this card from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, John Holland. So I'm always really careful to reference everything I'm using so that if you find it useful, you can go out and find it. And the heart chakra has... Uh, a lot of negative and positive attributes but it's the green energy and we associate it with love so really centering in your heart um, when you're heart centered you're centering in place of love and uh, and uh, coming from a place of service rather than self-service so that is the symbol and all the chakras have sacred geometry um, associated with them you can see the crown chakra has uh, amazing sacred geometry um, associated with that so uh, last week i started losing all your comments um, and so i catch up with them at the end so if you make a comment and i miss it i do apologize <laughs> but i i will um answer you so you know if you would like me to contact you afterwards or um uh, just for a chat about spiritual development. Um, hey, Adrian from Cincinnati. Fantastic, Lisa. It's so great. Uh, I'm a massage therapist that channels Raphael in my, my massa massage sessions when it's needed. Fantastic. I don't know if people know that... Um, hi, Monica. Welcome back. Can you self-serve altruistically using the heart? Mm, probably. You probably can. I'm always checking into myself to see if I'm self-serving or not um, because the ego is pretty strong and so uh, that's why I find it difficult actually to do a healing on myself because I always have a bit of a, a fixed agenda, you know. Um, so I find it easier to go to someone else to do my own healing. Uh, in matters of the heart, uh, the, the ego can get in the way for sure. Can um, I need you to explain that a bit more as a role model? Can you just explain that a little bit more, Monica? So I'm not quite understanding the question, but I'm happy to answer it here when I understand what you're asking. Um, meanwhile, I will find... That's fantastic, Adrian. Welcome. I actually did, um, I had a message from someone in America and I called her one morning and she was, um, and we chatted for about half an hour and she uh, she just kind of stumbled across me. Hi, Keshna. I just uh, connected with, Kesh with Keshna the other day. So lovely to, um, to see you. All right, so the heart chakra is our center of love of course and where we um, where we kind of work with affairs of the heart and so we can use the green energy um, to help to heal our heart and that's where Raphael's beautiful energy is 
And what I was going to say was that um, every archangel has an archaea, so we all have masculine and feminine sides, um, and uh, so do archangels. And so the feminine side of Raphael, fascinatingly, is uh, Mother Mary. So Mother Mary, uh, yes, the mother of Jesus, is actually also an archangel. Sure, I look after myself as an example for others, as often people haven't ever embraced advice and recommendations of assistance. In Yep, exactly. So we're the messenger, aren't we? You know, we're the messengers as practitioners and healers and readers and psychics. We channel through what's right for that person. And if they don't t take it on board, that is not our problem. And... So really, the big lesson there is that, um, you're welcome, Adrian. Um, the big lesson there is to deliver and let go. And, you know, I, I've had to do a lot of work on that, Monica, about did they, did they like it? You know, was, was it useful for them? Did it help? Rah, rah, rah. It's uh, if we're channeling purely and the messages are coming straight from spirit, then we're the messenger, we're the channel, deliver the message, let go. And uh, some people have trouble kind of um, understanding that. And then, you know, we're still giving away our time. We're still giving away our energy um, in response for payment. And so, um, but uh, if people don't hear what they want to hear, sometimes they can make a big issue of that. So yes, you do need to protect yourself and um, it's, it's the same in first aid or anything. Who do you protect first? It's yourself, because if you get hurt, then you've got another patient on your hands. Ah, that's great. Thanks, Michael. Um, hi, Keshna. Hi, Helen. Um, yeah, so definitely um, we can get... It's too easy in the affairs of the heart to get caught up in other people's heartbreak. When I have people come and they've had someone commit suicide or... Um, you know, they're, they're looking to bring someone in from the other side and it was a really tragic thing. It's really important to remain really, really professional and unattached. If we become, I'm sorry, Terry, I'm not doing um, individual um, readings for people. Um, it's just too difficult for me to, to try and do that for everybody. But I'm happy to do a private reading for you if you would like to contact me privately through... Uh, I can't ask that either. I can't answer that either, Michael. Actually, you can't ask questions like that. Will I pass? Will I get the job? Because it's up to uh, the free will of another person. So you might get an answer, but it, it possibly won't be the right answer. And uh, it's just one of those things that you actually can't can't ask. So um, yeah, and that's just one of those things. No, I'm not doing any. Uh, Please don't ask me to do an individual reading here. Okay, I just can't do it. Angelina doesn't do it. We just we just can't get to everybody and it's quite draining. So if you would like a reading, please do contact uh, me through Spiritual Events Directory. So I was just talking about how we need to protect our energy and that is a way of me protecting my energy too because I do have a bit of a cold too. And there are other people who really need to know about... Um, how to protect themselves in their heart chakra and how to help heal and uh, so that's the that's uh, thanks Michael so that's uh, the purpose of today okie dokie so did you know that if you can process the negative emotions um, in the heart chakra by consciously using the green energy and I am using uh, Rona Herman's book as a guide today no, that's fine, Adrian. No need to apologise. Um, scripting your destiny um, because uh, it's truly trustworthy. I really trust it. Um, you are well on your way to becoming the master of your world and reality. So <clears throat> yesterday I was doing a reading for someone and she just quit a job because she really didn't like it. And um, she was looking to know what she should be doing in the future for a job and the answer from the creator um, for her was um, it needs to be heart-centered it's got to come from your heart 
and she had started a project for children um, and then had to give it up um, and move on to the job. And it was some, I forget exactly what it was. Um, I will answer that question, Rachel, for everybody in a sec about chakras being blocked. Um, so that is actually what Creator was talking about. Go back to what really comes from your heart because when you come from your heart, you come from a place of love. You're coming from a place of integrity and honesty and unconditional love and that's Creator energy. That is God energy. Okay, there's no conditions on it. There's no expectations that it will um, succeed or fail. It's just coming from the heart. And then when you're coming from there, it's more likely to succeed because uh, you've got that firm building block to, to come onto. All right, so now Rachel's just asked about what happens if all our chakras are blocked. Um, I'm just going to read some negative attributes of the heart chakra and uh, that might give you some clues as to the blockages in there and then I'll read the positive attributes and that's according to Rona Herman, Archangel Michael through Rona Herman and uh, a good way of unblocking chakras is just awareness of what's going on, releasing and, and forgiving and letting go but there are lots of different heart, there are lots of different chakra meditations where uh, you can ask for clearing. There's a whole lot of weight. Reiki is really great. Reflexology, surprisingly, um, when you're clearing the physical body, you'll clear the, the energetic body as well. So, um, okay, Cynthia, I'm doing a reading for people whose love lives are in turmoil uh, later on in this session. So, the negative attributes, so blockages in the, in the heart chakra that we need to use the green energy for, feeling unloved, sense of unworthiness. So you won't have all of these, but you can just kind of mentally tick off the ones that you might be struggling with. Selfishness, guilt, envy, jealousy, self-hatred. That's a big one. Self-love and self-hatred blocks just about everybody. Pain and anguish or tightness in the heart area from grief or sense of loss, not being able to let go of the past or moving forward. Not being able to forgive yourself or others. I think it's a great place to start because if we shift something in the heart chakra, then other chakras will shift too, Rachel. Um, allowing ego self to direct your life and focus instead of the soul self. So behind the heart is the soul, the heart chakra is the soul. And so when we're connecting to our soul self who's been on all the journeys of our lifetimes and knows the lessons that we've chosen to learn and for the, the higher picture of why we're here and the purpose of um, the, our soul's higher purpose for being here, then uh, we can get out of our mind. And really, you know, the ego is in the mind. And uh, so they're the negative attributes, okay? Feeling unloved, sense of unworthiness, selfishness, guilt, envy, jealousy, self-hatred, pain and anguish or tightness in heart area from grief or sense of loss, not letting go of the past and moving forward, not being able to forgive yourself or others and allowing the ego self to direct instead of the soul self. So when we bring the green energy in, and that's when, what we're going to do in about five or 10 minutes with Archangel Raphael, um, the positive attributes then allows the heart center to open and be receptive to the life force from our higher self and I am presence, which feeds the threefold flame of divine will, wisdom and love. So we have a sacred fire and that's down in our sacral area and it's said to be a threefold flame and um, some of you might have it burning fairly fairly low at the moment and so when we do all this healing it actually feeds the, the sacred fire and it actually helps us to then set back, step back into our sacredness, our sense of sacredness and into our solar power centre and into our power. Hi Kelly Jane. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we've got some work to do, Rachel, but it's a good start today, okay? So just jot a few things down if this is helpful. So um, the positive uh, attributes of the heart 
chakra heals the impacted energy within the heart, which brings balance, peace, and harmonious feelings into our awareness, which in turn creates a sense of well-being and promotes good health and vitality. It allows us to draw more and more love from our higher source and radiate it out to others. But we can't do that until we're doing that to ourselves, can we? So, okay, yeah. So when I tune into people, Tina Marie, um, I can see whether their heart chakra is closed off and sometimes it's dark, but sometimes it's bright white and you would think that it's um, open, but it can be quite numb inside too. So it seems like this is a really good place to start for everybody today. So I'm really happy and thank you for the feedback that you're giving along the way. Um, it results in a compassionate nature and unconditional love, accepting the truth that we are a divine spark of the Creator and therefore worthy of love. Self-love and acceptance are the first steps towards unconditional love for others. And uh, thanks Kelly Jane, could be Wella, that's not really a word, but um, I'm an ex-literacy coach so I'll use it. <laughs> I want a bit of a cold as you can tell, but um, had a reflexology yesterday and it's actually helped quite a bit so onwards and upwards <coughs> okay so we're going to be channeling Archangel Raphael but we can have we can have um, all of these positive attributes or we can so we can have an overload of negative or an overload of positive and we can't always expect to have all positive and no negative you know we've got to just have a balance really so Green energy, so the, in the heart chakra center, equals trust, love. Hi, Bianca. Great to see you. Um, compassion, kindness, and contentment. And they're all symptoms of a happy, and I would say healthy heart. But we've got to have these energies in um, a balanced way. Thanks, Alicia. So am I. Because last week I bought in the wealth box from Archangel Metatron, and that was it just came in. So I've actually written that down now so um it's wonderful that the masters are bringing these things through and i'm not the only one um ron herman there are a lot of people bringing beautiful things through so um so trust so archangel michael continues trust is a wonderful attribute but blind trust allows others to take advantage of us so we need to be discerning and so we need to know when to trust and how to trust and how to trust ourselves and the feelings we get about other people. So we can be really open hearted. Yes, about contrast, but we need to be, we can be open hearted, but we can give too much of ourselves and then people will take advantage. Oh, Kelly Jane, you're not the only one. So that's, um, I'm really happy that we're doing this today. I'm really hoping that you're going to be feeling a lot lighter in your heart space at the end. So we can love too much. How can we do that? Archangel Michael asks, when you love the wrong things, it is called addiction, love of power, wealth, food, drugs, alcohol, or an obsessive love for someone. Temper your emotions, love with mental logic, and allow your soul self to help you monitor your love interests. Boundaries, very good, fantastic word. Kindness, thank you, Sema. Kindness sometimes becomes a means of controlling others or of keeping others from learning their lessons by doing it for them. Too much kindness, which usually also involves self-sacrifice or a sense of superiority, can destroy relationships for it is out of balance. You can't buy love by doing too much for someone. You must also allow others to return the kindness how many of you can put your hand up and say, I give a lot, but I don't get much back? You give, which creates a balance of giving and receiving. Yes, hi, Leiluma. Contentment. Being too content leads to lethargy and dullness, a lack of sense of purpose. Nothing stays static. You must always strive to move forward to the next level of awareness and to maintain a sense of excitement and challenge. So... We project the joy-sadness spectrum of emotions from the heart. The proper feeling qualities of a radiant heart are warmth and expansiveness. A loving sense of gratitude is important to a radiant, healthy heart. 
So here's the most important um, paragraph that I have actually underlined. Again, for people just coming in, this is Scripting Your Destiny, Archangel Michael's messages through Ronna Herman. She calls herself Ronna Vise now www.ronastar it's well worth checking out she has a lot of good channeling books uh, the heart chakra is the doorway to the higher states of consciousness the energy of the earth and the material plane flow up from the earth to the heart while the energies of our higher divine self flow down through the crown chakra and merge in the heart and solar plexus creating our center called the solar heart or our solar power center, whereby we radiate love forth to others and the earth. Now, our solar power center then is our heart chakra and our solar plexus, but it, our solar plexus is, uh, can contain a lot of uh, trauma from our childhood. It's the chakra that um, is the one that uh, represents how we feel about ourselves in our relationships and in our interactions with others and so if you're blocked in there you're going to have trouble you can have a clear heart chakra but so we need to work on both but um, i'm going to call in archangel um, reciprocity yes we definitely need to have that there is an, a spiritual law of equal exchange and um, so uh, what we put out we need to get back in equal measure or be happy at least with what we get back so a balance is uh, created when uh, the person receiving or giving um, is happy with that and if if they're not then that can create an imbalance so you know I could do an hour healing for someone and just uh, get a cup of coffee and a thank you but if it's a friend I'll be really happy with that and um, there's no imbalance but um, you know so it's it's all relative isn't it um, okay so now guys let's settle down let's focus on the green energy in our heart chakra a lot of you have expressed concern about the blockages in your heart today I actually don't know what Archangel Raphael is going to bring through but I trust him implicitly him her Archangel Raphael and Mother Mary Archie Mary and uh, so uh, luckily we're recording this so that I can go back and write it down later. Um, okay, so I'm just going to ground my energy now and you can all do that with me if you like. Um, so I always focus my energy in my heart center and just take a few breaths and just really bring myself into the now. So bringing myself into the space and then I envisage my energy as a beautiful ball of light and I breathe it down through my chakras, through my legs and into the ground and ground it down into Mother Earth so that while I'm consciously up in the ethers, um, I'm, my physical body is still grounded and safe. So are you ready? Take a breath and breathe your energy down from your heart space and feel it go down through all your chakras. Breathe it down through your legs and through your feet down into the ground. Pardon me. And just imagine the light hooking into the earth, anchoring you into Mother Earth. Oh, goodness me. Thank you much. And then bring the energy back up as two beams of light. Breathe it up through your feet and legs and up through all your chakras, all the way up this time, up till it's up through your crown. One more breath if you need. And it's rotating slowly above your crown. You can see, feel or imagine. And then take a breath in and breathe it back down. into your heart space again. Now, center your energy, center your focus. So focus your energy into this uh, light in your heart space. And we now call upon Archangel Raphael and Archie Mary to be present with us. 
and just see or feel or imagine the energy turning green. Now, if you can, just project that green out all around you so you're surrounded in this green energy. Now, remember this, with intention it is, so everything is with intent. So even if you can't see it or feel it, you know it's there. Trust. Remember that word that I always say? Trust that it's happening, okay? And we call upon Archangel Raphael and Archangel Mary to protect us while we're in this meditation and that uh, and I'm holding the intention that uh, the meditation be channeled through me in the highest and best way and for the highest and best of everybody listening today to help to uh, balance our heart chakras to release past trauma and disequilibrium um, and to bring in peace, contentment and unconditional love to allow everyone to be able to move forward uh, in their self-love and in their uh, relationships with others. Thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. And now I'll just take a minute to actually bring that energy in so that I am connected. Greetings, beloveds. It is our pleasure to be with you today to help your hearts to heal or to regain their balance and for you to be able to move forward in your relationship with yourself and with others. First, if I may, ask you to allow me into your space. Do not be afraid for my intentions are pure and ones of unconditional love and service to you. Thank you for allowing me into your space and into your heart. Now as you see the colour green in your heart space, see, feel or imagine the chakra slowly beginning to turn in an anti-clockwise direction. And as I gently breathe my love and light into your heart chakra, allow the release of pain, trauma, suffering, negativity, heartbreak and grief. If the tears come, so be it. Allow it, for it is a release. Feel the release and allow it to occur. And as this occurs, a beautiful white light enters your crown and merges with my green healing light. This is the energy of the creator of all that is, the divine source of unconditional love. And as it merges with mine, start to feel, see or imagine your heart chakra changing direction to that of clockwise, bringing the positive energy in of unconditional love, trust, compassion, kindness and faith. Faith in yourself to move forward through the hard times into a place of self-acceptance and self-love. As you breathe in and out, as the light of the Creator through your crown merges with the green healing light, 
of myself, Archangel Raphael, and Archie and Mary. Feel a swelling of love, peace and contentment in your heart space and allow that feeling to merge with your other chakras. First, it goes downwards to your solar plexus, allowing the release of any self-doubt Problems with addiction, problems with envy, problems with jealousy, problems relating to others and begins to bring in the positive attributes of self-acceptance, self-reliance, self-love and now the green energy combined with divine energy spreads down to your sacral and base chakras and then grounds down into your earth chakra. And now from your heart chakra, the green energy combined with divine healing light moves up to your throat chakra, crown, third eye and then crown. Healing, releasing, and filling with love, light, and hope. Now this beautiful energy is spreading through your aura. And your other bodies, emotional body, mental body, spiritual body, Cleansing, healing, aligning and balancing as the green energy slowly moves through. Healing up tears, holes, weaknesses, making your bodies and aura stronger, more resilient, more protected. Now you find yourself balanced and aligned in your chakra line and in a green healing bubble of light. And now you are sitting on a thousand petaled lotus flower. Take notice of the colour for it will be different for each one of you. Breathe in the green healing light of the heart chakra into your heart chakra, into your being. We are one, you and I. We are one with the creator of all that is, with unconditional love, with the highest truth of life, on earth as it is for you. You are a being of light. You are a being of love. Use this light and love now to heal not just your physical body, but your um, spiritual, mental and emotional bodies. And be at peace with the decisions you've made, the friendships you've formed and lost, with the love that's come and gone, with the person that you are, for you are who you are. Be proud, for you are loved beyond measure. Take now this pink lotus flower that I place in your hands and slowly place it onto your heart space and feel the pink love merging with the green healing light of the heart chakra. 
and sit in this beautiful love energy. You deserve it. You are blessed and honoured for the life you are living, the love you are giving. But now receive it for yourself. You are loved and never alone. And now, with your permission, I will perform a chakra alignment and integration of this heart healing into all of your chakras to release and balance your chakras and then Activate them to a higher frequency of light. We are ready and we will begin. So I'm holding the space for you all now as Archangel Raphael and Archie and Mary come through. And at first they will clear your aura and then the light will come back up through your chakras and then they will align and balance and integrate the healing of the heart chakra all in one through all of your chakras as many as you have active going back up and now for the activation so this is where high light comes in high frequency to allow you to move forward from the blockages into a higher consciousness. It will be a little bit stronger. Here we go. And I'm feeling very balanced and very grounded now. Archangel Raphael is giving his blessing and I'm thanking him and Archie and Mary for being with us today and asking him to make sure that you are all sealed and protected before his energy recedes. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes. Kelly Jane says she fell asleep. A lot of people have that trouble, um, but know that it was still working for you, even if you did not off. So uh, that was really lovely. I hope that that really was um, lovely for you as well, and that you do feel a bit more centered and balanced now. And uh, Lisa, great to see you. Um, Pleasure, Donna. Um, so uh, that was awesome. Fantastic. Make sure that you're hydrated too when you do any um, meditation or any kind of spiritual work. Thank you, Tabata. Um, I really, uh, I brought that through. So um, what I'll be doing is just bringing through something just for you guys every week. You're welcome, Lise. So Lisa is a friend of my sister's and has become a friend of mine and my nickname is Tor. So that's why she says Tor. Hi, gorgeous. Um, okay, so what I was going to do now with only... Oh, that's fantastic, Rachel. Um, so I just have to say I'm so honoured and excited to be able to come online every week and connect with so many wonderful people from around Australia and the world. Samar says they feel she, he or she, or she feels expanded and grounded. That's fantastic. Oh, Lisa was sitting with the trees, so that would be really beautiful. Lisa's in Sydney, I think. I was going to say Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, that was a while ago. Love you too. Okay, now I am going to do a reading first. Um, so I'm going to do a reading of three readings. 
One for people in a relationship that's happy. Tina Marie says, thank you so much. As an empath, I take it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So use the green energy to really just uh, draw out those impurities. And also um, I would be making sure that perhaps you carry a crystal or use um, frankincense or something like that to keep yourself protected more and uh, zip your aura up and keep yourself protected Tina that's awesome Keshna thank you yep Lisa says yep she's in Sydney okay so um, I need to be focusing now so this reading is for people who are in a relationship and I'm going to do a past, present and future in a happy relationship. And then I'm going to do one for people who are in a relationship that's not so happy. And then I'm going to do one for people who would like a relationship. Okay, so here we go. So I'm asking for a reading for people who are already in a relationship. Um, and today I am using the Psychic Tarot um, I love these cards. So uh, here we go. Yeah, zipping up is just so easy and it protects your aura. And just try not to do things that like even saluting or, you know, when we leave our aura open, that's where other people's energies can come in. Particularly if you're really tired, um, if you're angry, drinking alcohol, smoking or around lower vibrational people, be super duper careful if you're an empath okay all right back to people in a relationship happy relationship uh, reading for you guys and that includes me because I have I have just celebrated my 35th wedding anniversary uh, with my first husband we have three boys and we're still in love so I consider myself very fortunate um, so here we go feels right okay so Kelly Jane the next readings for you okay for people like you yep so the first one is uh, authority the Emperor the second one is choose wisely and the third one is the waiting game that's an interesting one for people who are in a happy relationship already. So it's possible that in the past, <clears throat> the relationship has been more, if you're in a happy relationship, I know that Quite often uh, we work together but also that sometimes it's more a bit male dominated or that you haven't, haven't always uh, had that equal exchange <clears throat> but also it's a strong relationship okay so the authority is like you in a realist so it's been strong and you've managed to weather the storm so far so now, as you uh, may be kind of entering a different phase of your relationship, the, the emotional body this is, the heart chakra, the decisions that you make, you need to make sure that you're always um, a team. Okay, so it's like always making sure that the decisions you make affect that, that are affecting both of you um, that you make together and it's really hard once you start having children and things get really busy that you can become a bit disconnected and a bit kind of um, emotionally frayed so it's about with all the things that you have to do make time for each other Emotion, on an emotional level actually you know talking so um, this is kind of the present so if you got if you're in a happy relationship but you're finding that you're really busy just always make sure because 
we've got to the stage where our kids all left home and we never once said, who are you and why am I married to you? We were like, okay, let's just, you know, we, we, we always maintained that um, ability to, you know, to talk and to be together. So we hadn't disconnected, but I know a lot of people who have. So it's always about recentering back into the two of you and why you're together in the first place, I would say. <clears throat> this is a spiritual body, so the waiting game. <clears throat> so it's still about growing together, isn't it? To me, it's like uh, never taking things for granted and always making sure that uh, you're connecting on every level <clears throat> and uh, making sure that the growth in one person is catching up with the other because so many people now um, might be exploring new things and your spirituality might be growing but the other person isn't part of that so then you start to be on different levels so <clears throat> I'm just going to choose a chakra card to go with that reading for people in a happy game uh, happy marriage rather um, or a happy relationship whether it's marriage or not um, to me, it's like you need to keep working on it. Every, of course, we all need to keep working on it. But it's about connecting on a spiritual level, not just the physical level, to, to maintain the emotional, mental and spiritual connections that we have with each other, not just the physical one. Although the physical one's really important for allowing us to, to um, maintain um, our connection with our partner. And this is for people in a happy relationship around love and connection and moving forward in the relationship mm. interesting so this is soul healing <clears throat> okay so a lot of people in a really happy relationship like mine and a long-term relationship would have lived other lives together so this is a soul star card and our soul star is our eighth chakra it's the gateway to our um, connection to uh, our galactic chakras so if there is a little bit of tension even in a happy relationship we can still have tension and a few things going on um, yeah Tina I'll talk about that in a sec um, so now's the time to be healing any Thing that you think you might have going karmically with your um, partner, anything that um, is holding you back, now's the time to start looking at what you're both dealing with and what's getting in the way. Um, because if you've been with your partner a long time and you're still in love and it's really happy, you're more than soulmates, you most likely divine union, you know, one soul, two bodies. So there's uh, at a soul level there might be something there that needs healing hi Sarah great to see you um, so Tina my partner's not spiritual either um, my husband uh, he's still a bit of a skeptic but he's so uh, supportive of me because he sees how much I love it and how I help people and I've always um, maintained my ability or I've worked on standing in my space and saying well this is me and I, I know I've changed a bit but I love this and it's helping people so uh, going down to his level is not going to help you grow um, if, 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 if uh, the love is there and the soul connection is there then holding the more that we stand in our space and uh, hold our, our stand in our power and don't judge ourselves uh, the less uh, leeway we give to people to judge us as well and so it's about holding our space hi Rowena and just saying this is me and I love you very much but this is me and they just come up and uh, if it's meant to be they'll just come up and go with you and it's it's a uh, that's why it's like uh, this card of just be patient um, allow uh, the person to have their views of course and I just don't enter into some conversations you know I'll just like not even bring it up because I'm not going to waste my energy he's got his opinions and um, 
I'm doing a card reading now. I've worked on the uh, heart chakra. So um, we did, uh, I will, re I'll post this and Sarah will post this. So uh, we did a heart chakra meditation, but now I'm doing a reading about love relationships, which is based in the heart chakra. So this is for people who are in uh, a relationship. So if you are changing and growing in your spiritual development, um, just allow that to happen, but be patient with the person that, that you're sharing your life with and maybe be discerning about what you share with them and they're allowed their views, you know. So my husband and I just have this happy medium of just accepting each other for what we believe and what we do and, and um, we're very happy. So uh, that's the reading there. Now, moving on to people who are in a relationship Finding it difficult. So I'm just going to. So I quite often let the cards and clear the energy and focus on my question because as soon as I start thinking about something else, the cards will come out about that. So you have to be really careful with what you're thinking when you're doing a card reading. So. Um, way forward for people who are in a relationship but having difficulties um, in their love relationship. And, okay. So mentally some of you might be thinking of moving on. Some of you might think that it's time to get out of this because it's just not working. But emotionally, you're still invested in this person. So you're just hoping that uh, you can um, make it all happen. So, um, so you know, we talked about, didn't we? we ha I have talked about a lot about how we can be in our mind, but then all, uh, our, mind, our heart and our head kind of go head to head, if that's pardon the pun. Um, and then the last one is transformation. Okay, so in the tarot, that's the death card, which actually is transformation. So if you're having difficulty in your relationship, something needs to change. It can't go on the way it's going. Okay, and whether, uh, whether you are going to stay together or not, it's starting to think about collectively as a couple, uh, taking responsibility for each other's issues and then trying to work them out together. And in some relationships, I know some people find that their partner just can't do that. If they can't take responsibility and they're blaming you um, or you're blaming them, then that transformation can't occur. So uh, see the beautiful green healing. So now it's about bringing it down into your heart space. So if you are having trouble in your relationship, I encourage you now to bring all your um, worries about it and just breathe into your heart and see your partner and you together and call in Archangel Raphael you can call in Archangel Chamuel as well because he is uh, associated with the heart chakra. And then breathe green healing energy around both of you. And sit in the energy of your relationship, but don't think about it. Alright? So just feel or know what to do. And it's a really different energy to feeling and knowing what to do rather than trying to think. Oh, wow. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> okay. So to me, this card is perfect because it's nothing will change until you both connect to your heart chakras and get out of your heads, get out of the words, get all the words and... All, the, all those things, all that ego stuff out of the way, just 
feel it, see him or her in your heart space. Breathe love and healing energy into it and just sit in that energy. Okay? So the chakra card for people who are in a difficult in difficulties in their love relationship at the moment. Mm. Abundance. Okay, let me work this out for a minute. Okay, so this is the base chakra. Okay, so the base chakra is to do with grounding, with certainty, with uh, identity, uh, feeling sure about yourself, standing in your power, um, and bringing in um, everything that you need to be sure of self. So have you lost yourself in the relationship? Has the other person lost themselves in the relationship? Can you both be grounded in the relationship and think of what it is you're collectively needing to do as a, as a couple to uh, bring, your, uh, bring your relationship back into balance. So really this is back to basics because the base chakra is the base chakra. Go back to basics, get all the emotion out of it, just feel, you know, get all those kind of hot-headed words out just back to basics. Why are you together? Why did you fall in love with this person? What have you lost? What do you need to work on? And I wish you all the best in that. Um, Marlene, I'm not doing uh, individual cards for people. I'm just doing collective at the moment. So now, if you are not in a love relationship but would like one, <laughs> This reading is for you, and I do need to finish in a minute. Remember, I'm Victoria Cochran. I'm on the northwest coast of Tasmania in Australia, uh, and I am on Facebook as Reaching Out Spiritual News. I also have a website, victoriacochran.com. I've just released my newsletter, which is also called Reaching Out Spiritual News and can be found on Blogger. And... Uh, I can be contacted very easily and I always reply and I love to hear from people. So um, if you would like to connect with me, please contact Sarah, um, Spiritual Events Directory. She'll put you in touch with me. Um, okay. So if you are not in a relationship but would like to find the love of your life. This reading is for you. Oh. Okay, so this card is the physical body, so it's uh, material and uh, spiritual prosperity, but it's person on their own looking out. So you've kind of got yourself to a place where you're uh, ready to meet someone. Okay, this one's awareness. Uh, it's the magician. Uh, actually, no, yes, it is. Um, so this one to me means that we can actually connect to our soulmate or to our divine union or the love of our life actually in, uh, in uh, our dreams and by... Uh, uh, sitting in our heart space and just sending out love to them. So it's starting to be aware that you that there is someone there for everyone and uh, also asking for help, putting out to the universe, being really clear on the kind of person you want to bring into your life and giving thanks to the universe for sending you um, the person who is right for you. So... Um, be really careful about the thoughts that you're thinking. Are you being grateful 
And are you actually thinking that it is possible for you to love or are you putting out to the universe that it's never going to happen? Um, because if you're thinking that, then that's what the, the universe will say, okay, well, I'll make it never happen. <laughs> so be really positive, okay, in your thoughts and really start to visualise crystal clear intentions and then it will be. And do I need to shuffle or not? Yes. In the future... love begins so definitely there's someone out there for you but be really this this to me is the most important card for this to happen what are you putting out to the universe what are you saying what are you telling yourself do you have self-belief do you feel that you deserve to be loved do you know that uh, there's someone out there for you are you giving thanks to the universe for what you have already and visualising and being crystal clear on the type of person you want. No, there are no coincidences, Rachel. Absolutely. It's a pleasure connecting with you too. So be really positive. You know, there is someone out there for you, but it's everything, uh, it's all to do with what we're putting out. And whether you feel that you deserve to be loved and that you're lovable and that you love yourself. And if you're not giving that to yourself, then it's hard to love someone else and start to notice the vibes that you're giving out and, uh, but also the thoughts that you're thinking and how positive or negative they are because that really makes a difference. But I'm feeling very hopeful for you that it's going to happen very soon. So um, how exciting. The chakra card, and again, I'm using these beautiful chakra reading cards by Ray, Rochelle Charman, Charman. And for all of you hoping to find love, here it comes. Forgiveness. So this is a heart chakra card. So using the green energy to let go of anything that's still blocking you from a previous relationship, whether you are having trouble forgiving a former partner or forgiving yourself. Um, let it go, just allow it to, to um, release. So you can look back on this video again and redo that meditation. Um, and uh, the Wealth Box meditation that I did last week, I've actually put in my newsletter, which I just released today it's on Blogger. Hi, Michelle. Um, I've just released it today. So it's on Blogger. It's Reaching Out Spiritual News. But you can also go on to uh, my Facebook Reaching Out Spiritual News page and click on the link. And uh, I actually wrote down the Wealth Box um, meditation that came through last week. So I will make sure that I uh, write this meditation down and um release it on my in my next newsletter um guys that's all for today thank you so much for interacting with me for your positive comments and uh i really look forward to connecting with you at the same time next wednesday lots of love and light and blessings to you bye